What's up guys, Gargamish again, and uh, very quickly, if this is out of sync, I apologize, I haven't had to sync in a while, but uh, I'm getting tired of Elgato's fucking, uh, <laughs> fucking in-house in recording sound dealy, because it's never coming out right. Great, now it's not telling me I want the game to be this loud. Yes. I should really do all this before, but nah, fuck it. Um, so yes, I will sound different. I'm sure I'll sound better because fucking I'm not going to be peaking every two seconds. So yeah, let's give her. I don't have a ass ton of time right now, but it'll, it'll add up in the end. It'll add up in the end. Don't you, don't you guys worry. Open my water before we get, oh. The town becomes a labyrinth as the clock strikes midnight. It's just like the dark hour described in those documents. <coughs> Hi, something in my throat. Early mornings, what this does for you. <coughs> yeah, it's better. Uh, I take a deep breath and check my surroundings. First, I review the situation. If I remain calm and collect as much data as I can, I should be able to put together a picture of what's going on. No one's here yet. I'd have thought someone would have come straight to Juness. From what I can tell, on my way here, the town is utterly empty. Are you some pie and the others all right? If this phenomenon, phenomenon, phenomenon is the same as the dark hour from the documents, then the only ones capable of moving about in it are Persona users like us. But why? If this was deliberately induced, then what is the culprit's aim in doing so? Since my call with Labrys was cut off, I have no idea about her safety either. Is the helicopter she and her companions were riding safe? And what's happened to Mitsuru-san and her retina? This is a dangerous line of thought. I'm losing my cool and I can't keep my thoughts straight. I'm no detective in this state. Calm down. If I start worrying, there'll be no end to it. I take another deep breath. I know already that the red fog filling the area isn't poisonous at first blush. I did consider that the enemy might be employing an airborne toxin, but the whole town is covered in the stuff and there's no way to move about while still avoiding it. Still, it may be best to try not to breathe it in to the extent I can avoid it. Huh? Now, Tokun? Huh? I'm thrown for a loop at being called out of the blue. I'm so lost in thought that my reaction is slightly delayed. Chie-senpai, is that you? Hmm? Uh-huh. Why? No, it's not actually her. Didn't we already fight Chie? No, we didn't. We did not. Thank goodness you're safe. What about the others? How should I know? They've got nothing to do with me. A cheerful answer, the tone of which sounds like Chie Senpai's usual self, but her actual words ring a warning bell in my mind. My senses seem untampered with, from which I take it that you are not Chie Senpai. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Little Ooh, me? I'm Chie Satanaka. Though I'm a fake one, based on the real Chie. I see. So you make no effort to hide your true nature. And what are your intentions? What a foolish question even for me. The town was covered in the strange red fog shortly after the disappearance of Mitsurusan and her people. And now a false Chie senpai, identical to the real thing, stands before me. I have no inkling as to the enemy's goals, but it is at least apparent that they expect us to fight in order to accomplish them. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I came to fight you! Are you? Rather, is the culprit who created you the same one who sees Labrys? Or is it an accomplice of his? I want information right now! Even if what stands before me is an imitation, it is honestly answering me this much. I felt that it would be smarter to draw out as much information from it as possible. <laughs> you really are sharp, aren't you, Naoto Kun? But who cares about any of that? Persona! What? A familiar shadow takes form behind the fake Chie Senpai. Impossible. As I, as close as these fakes are, they are not the genuine article. Yet not only was this one able to summon the, the same persona that Chie Senpai uses, it did so in the real world? What in the world is going on here? <laughs> After dodging the attack, I jumped back and draw the gun at my side. This is no illusion. That was a heavy strike with considerable weight behind it. Uh, did I surprise you? Oh, sorry, I meant it as a little green. It 
seems the circumstances are different from before. What sort of scheme is unfolding now? Uh oh! Salty, that's supposed to be the detective's job. If you don't hurry and get ready, you'll get yourself hurt. So you have no intention of providing answers. Very well. Ooh! Now that's our now chan! It's so convenient for us that you catch on quick! Is that... General Teddy? You understand without me having to explain, right? Thanks for participating in the P1 Climax! Now then, on to Nao Chan's first round! Obviously this is a serious battle with nowhere to run! Oh, uh, by the way, Mitchan and the others you're looking for were smushed and captured by me, General Teddy! In other words, if you keep winning in the tournament, you might be able to save them! Though I'd consider this as a possibility, I can't help but furrow my brow at General Teddy's words. Someone Sir Sun and her team were indeed captured. The Shadow Operatives are professionals when it comes to Shadow-related matters, so if our opponent captured them so easily, then we clearly cannot afford to underestimate them. Oh, and you can use your persona too, Nakokun. Well then, bring on the ring! Yeah, let's just throw out that line before... She totally forgets. Yep. Are we just gonna go- Oh no. Scene? What? Why? Immediately after the fakes cry, red pillars appear mid-air surrounding us. They swiftly fall, embedding themselves into the ground. So this is the ring this time. I can surmise the basic rules. It's fair to say that invisible walls stretch between the pillars, and I will not be able to proceed until the match is completed. In which case, there's only one option open to me. It seems I haven't time to waste, so I won't bother holding back. Persona! Right! That's the Nato Kuma I know! That means it's even more fun crushing you! I wouldn't be so certain. You can never win against me! Okay. I actually played around with Nato a little bit. And I am disappointed because you cannot spam bullets anymore. There's a reload timer now. And it makes me sad. So! Uh, I'm gonna get fucked real hard. <laughs> That's the conclusion I came to. It was also a while ago, so I don't, I don't quite remember. Oh! I actually need a proper anti-air. What the fuck? Ah, oh, Chia, your damage. Why is your Chia damage so good? Oh, auto. That's fine. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh! I misjudged. Ooh, the battle is joint now. Fuck! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Sorry, but I see. Oh! Uh oh! Now we're in problem. Oh! Okay. Whoa! Fuck using meter. <laughs> uh, fuck purposely using meter, I should say. Oh, good lord. That fight just became a lot harder now. Why? Oh, I lost. Well, I guess that's enough. As I said, you cannot win against me. Our forms can be mimicked, but you can never replicate our inner drive. It was strong, though I wore a brave face to intimidate my opponent. Had I put one one foot wrong, it could have been me who was defeated. For some reason, I feel much more exhausted than I remember being being the case what? Being in the case when I f would fight inside the TV world. Yeah, sometimes, I just that mind fuck when I'm reading. Is it because of my opponent's abilities? Oh. This is a setup. There's a mighty cracking sound and the red pillars to the four sides of me shatter. I've evidently emerged the victor without any problems and gained the right to proceed. As that happens, the false Chie Senpai begins to disintegrate before my eyes. It must have been created by tampering with a shadow. What is that? 
what appears to be grains of light floating up from the rapidly dissolving fake. They form a ribbon of light, drawing an arc in the air, and drift away in a particular direction as if drawn to something. Thinking back upon the battle, I believe I saw similar grains of light whenever my persona and the fakes would dash. What are they? Could they be fragments of something? When I follow the light with my eyes, I could scarcely believe what I see. There's an enormous and bizarrely shaped structure which has no place in a rural town, or anywhere else in the real world. Is that the hill where Yasugami High is? The orbs of light are gathering there. Something's off. The opponent's methods are different from Lapras's case. They're challenging us head on now. The salient aspects of this case are the red fog enveloping the real world, a giant tower atop Asagami High, the grains of light that appear in battle, and this strange exhaustion I feel. Suddenly something pops into my mind. Those documents I obtained from public safety, one of them detailed a past case involving Masuru-san's team, involving a giant tower that only appears during a special period of time. If I recall correctly, it was called Tartarus? That, adher that ad adherent tower was built to call forth something monstrous. Mon monstrous, that's the word. Is it possible that... Is the culprit of this case intending to... But, oh! Hey! That's a cheap shot show! Fuck you! I must ask that you not needlessly inquire further. Now is not yet the time. <laughs> Impossible! This was unlike my encounter with the false Chie Senpai. I was paying close attention to my surroundings. Yet this man suddenly appeared behind me as if from thin air? Naoto Shirogane, you will be making your exit here. Die. A clear voice pierces the red fog, and the next sound that reaches my ears is what seems to be a blade slicing the air. Great, now, now Naoto is stuck in a fight with her life. Great. That's perfect. It's just what we need to see. 